If you've ever run a show in Resolume with multiple decks, but you needed some clips available across all of those decks, then this quick tip is for you. I'm Sean Bose, concert visual designer in Los Angeles, California. In this video, I'm going to teach you about persistent clips, which is a tool inside Resolume that allows you to use certain clips in the same position across all of your decks. This is a great technique to use for sponsor or event logos, cameras, or branded frame content, or any other content that is necessary throughout all parts of the show. Let's hop into Resolume and see how it works. Inside Resolume, I've got a demo project set up that has a few different decks for the different artists I'm going to perform for. I also have a logo and a camera that I want to reuse throughout the duration of the event, even as I switch decks. I can make these persistent clips by selecting both of them, right clicking, and choosing persistent. That will add a red label to both of them, letting me know that they are persistent clips. And if I switch decks, now you can see that they appear in the same position across all three decks. Now let's see what happens if there's a conflict. If you run into a situation where you have a conflict, for example, a clip is already in that position in another deck, don't worry about it, there's a workflow for that. So for example, if I make this first column persistent as well, and I go into my second deck, I already had some content in that position. So what it did is it just made a little pip for the content that was in that position in this deck. And I'm able to resolve the conflict by just dragging that pip over to a new position. The same thing will happen if you happen to drag and drop a clip onto that position. It will just appear there as a pip and you can't play it, uh, but you can grab it and drag it somewhere else. What about if we move a persistent clip? If we move a persistent clip, for example, this clip over to column nine, that change will be reflected across all of the decks. You can see that that clip is in layer three, column nine, everywhere we go. And the same thing is true with any adjustments that we make, such as adding an effect. We've added a colorize to make this one blue. And if we check it in any of the other decks, it still has that same blue colorize on it. And if you're the type of person that likes to add decks to your composition on the fly during your performance, it's got you covered there too. If we go ahead and add another deck to our composition, you can see that all of our persistent clips are there. And if we need to, we can just relocate any clips that are in conflict. All right, so that is how you set up persistent clips in your Resolume project. This is great for things like logos, cameras, and any other content that needs to appear across the entire show. I hope this tip was helpful. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and come back later for more videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.